Welcome back to the channel. This video is part of Unit 2, Environmental Science, Ecosystems, Environment and Ecology. And in this video, I'm drawing out the sulfur cycle in orange pen. Now, I'm doing it on a tracing paper or a piece of tracing paper. And it's part of the student's large project in Unit 2, which is Biogeochemical Cycles. They have to basically research and draw all five cycles on their own separate piece of tracing paper and then layer them on top of this foundation which has the marine atmospheric and terrestrial components there as a very basic canvas and they can use this tracing paper to understand how these cycles overlap interact and create our beautiful living planet basically and how it moves all the nutrients and chemicals so this is a sulfur cycle and i start with the biomass and the soil and the sulfate ions and then look at the water component with water vapor and the gases and how they mix in the atmosphere, how they diffuse into the oceans, the salt water with the phytoplankton and the sulfate ions, and the biological pumps with the animals and death and decay, with the fluxes of into the ocean and out of the ocean, and also the sulfur that is in the lithosphere and the crust and certain rocks and minerals, and how this uplift and there's weather and erosion to break down these rocks and release the sulfur and how there are large amounts of sulfur being pumped out from these hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor and the mid-ocean ridges and you're getting this large abundance of life of these chemotrophs which are using these chemicals and influx of sulfur to turn into glucose and sugars just like on the surface with sunlight and photosynthesis. So this cycle is a fantastic way to visualize the movement and transportation and translocation of sulfur through different Earth spheres and different chemical reactions. So I talk about deposition and fallout, that direct input of sulfur into the land or the soil or most likely the oceans looking at sulfates and sulfides, looking at pyrite and other classic minerals that are high in sulfur, and limestone as well as the rock type, the sedimentary rocks. So this is part of the larger project, including all the cycles, and the students can use this to create their analysis on the cycles.